Okay, hello everybody. Uh, my name is Andreas. Um, I'm one of the two founders of Virginium, uh, an Austrian health tech company. And I think it's a very nice contrast to uh, our colleague uh, Christian. So I will try to share my experience, how even smaller, but uh, agile and innovative. Andreas, ganz kurz, wir sehen nur die, die andere Ansicht, die Referentenansicht. So does it work right now? Perfect. Okay, so, so Genium uh, located in Linz, Vienna and Graz. So currently we are a group of 20, 25 people uh, coming from, from the health and the tech area. We are a very multidisciplinary team. And basically uh, our core business is to create value out of already existing data, of clinical data uh, for patients, organizations, um, health institutions uh, and relatives. So uh, you could say that our core business is the reuse of already existing data in general within health institutions for, for smart health services. Basically, we are working on two main technologies, CARA and Solaris. Uh, today, the more relevant one is CARA, uh, CARA Health Workforce Analytics, and in particular, uh, CARA COVID-19+, Plus which is a specific service we have created for our clients at the beginning of the crisis uh, to give them support free of charge. And I want to share uh, our experiences along the journey and along this roadmap uh, with you now. Basically, we are uh, already very successful in the Austrian market uh, and we will try uh, or we will extend our business to the UK and Germany in the next few months. So at the beginning of the crisis, there was really a huge Chaos. There was a chaotic situation. There was really uh, a huge lack of any kind of knowledge about how to deal with this kind of crisis. There was just no or just a little uh, knowledge about uh, about the virus itself, how to deal with it. And uh, because there was a kind of panic mode uh, um, available uh, across, you know, Austria, Europe uh, and beyond, uh, many decision makers, um, health institution decision makers, as well as political decision makers, try to catch as much as they could, you know, on, 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 the, on the global market for, for example, medication, uh, medical material uh, uh, and so on. And uh, I think that everybody knows uh, the, um, the, the videos from YouTube where you can see people entering uh, the supermarket and, and try to catch as much toilet paper uh, as they could, uh, even knowing uh, that they, they will not uh, need, you know, 15 or 50 packages of, of toilet paper uh, right now. Uh, we had the same situation in, in the healthcare industry. So there was, uh, in our opinion, a huge need for uh, an, an optimized staffing and resource allocation, or at least a tool to give people support to do this. And uh, this was uh, what, what Strugenium um, did, or what our great team uh, did. So we created this specific version uh, of CARA. Uh, and uh, called it CARA COVID-19. And in a nutshell, CARA is a healthcare resource demand forecasting and management service for COVID-19 patients. So the idea was that uh, basically uh, decision makers uh, in, in health institutions at the political side uh, are able to manage or to, to get a prediction about what kind of resources they will need uh, uh, in terms of, you know, staffing, uh, material, medication, uh, uh, infrastructure uh, based on uh, the latest uh, prediction uh, of, um, for example, epidemiological models uh, by the TU Wien for Austria and to give them a 10 days prediction so they can, they can manage or prepare 
better than without having this kind of, of uh, software. Um, here you can see some screenshots. Um, so basically we offer uh, a very yeah, simple tool, a very powerful tool, a very convenient tool, which uh, transfers the uh, output of epidemiological models uh, by the University of Oxford um, we have a collaboration with and transfer it in a language that uh, healthcare decision makers are, are, are speaking. So what you can see here, see here uh, because of time, I can lack of time, I cannot explain every graph in detail, but I think you can get the idea that this was, uh, or that CARA COVID-19, our platform, is a service that really uh, gives um, the responsible people within health institutions uh, and, 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 and at, the, at the political level in these very challenging times, a very powerful but very simple uh, and, and very convenient tool uh, to, to, to keep control. And uh, I think this was, was one of the main uh, success factors why we were able uh, to spread it, not just only in Austria, but also um, across the world. I've tried to summarize, uh, uh, you know, this this this, this crazy uh, roadmap uh, uh, across the last four months. What happened uh, on, on our side? So we started uh, with an intern hackathon at the, at the end. I think it was the final day of, of February, uh, where where the team uh, started an 18 days long hackathon, where we where we really worked like hell, day at night, seven days a week. Uh, to uh, uh, get the first uh, release of, of CARA COVID-19 uh, out to the market. And the first release uh, took place at the, at the 17th of, of March, so by the middle of March, in, in, in a German and, thank God, in an English version as well. And uh, I, I have tried to, to, to highlight the, the main uh, uh, milestones uh, across you know, the, 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 the four months uh, uh, afterwards. Uh, because uh, it, it, it's impossible to do every 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 milestone, uh, everything, uh, every comment here uh, is is basically has its own story. But you can see here that uh, it was really uh, a, a great success. Uh, it, the, the, the service itself it really spread very quickly across the world. So we had this collaboration with, with University of Oxford. Uh, we really um, uh, have had users, uh, you know, for example, uh, in, in Austria very quickly, just a few days after the release, uh, then across uh, the European Union and by the support of the Austrian uh, Chamber of Commerce, uh, we were able to really spread it to other uh, uh, continents, to other countries. And today, and, 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 uh, and now we are working on a CARA COVID-19 plus version, uh, which will help us to, to get the, the, the service monetized, because uh, as I've mentioned before, uh, the first draft or CARA COVID-19, uh, the, 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 the first uh, version was free of charge. And I think this was also a very important success factor why we were able to spread it so quickly uh, to so many um, countries and, and uh, health institutions. So here you have, you have a quick overview of where do we stand right now. So we have, as I have said, users across Austria, uh, several uh, member states uh, like, like Vienna uh, or, or Lower and Upper Austria. But what is really very, very interesting, and I think uh, that that's, that's for this kind of uh, event, uh, that's, that's one of the core messages. We are just a little, a little team. We have 25 people. Uh, and of course, we have lots of expertise in our team, but we have this entrepreneurial spirit. And uh, what we started uh, four months ago, um, it, it was really, uh, we, we pushed it so hard, and, uh, but we, we always trust in our, trusted in ourselves. And I think what you can see here is, because what we, can, what, what, what we are able to do, you can do as well, that uh, even we are located in, in Austria, it's, we are able to really uh, create a kind of digital product that can be successful in Europe and, and beyond, uh, in, in, in Northern uh, uh, America, in, in Australia, in Africa, in um, across Europe and uh, I really wanted to, to, to share this, this experience with you because uh, it, it should just uh, give you hope that you can do the same. Uh, I'm totally uh, convinced of. Uh, besides uh, the um, success on, on, on the business side, uh, because uh, Sogenium is a very research oriented company, we were also able to uh, uh, catch uh, to, to get some some research funding for, for, for the next uh, 12 months. 
Uh, and uh, what is very interesting about that is that we want to link the current data model we have created with uh, you know other uh, data sources like you know infection diseases, uh, other infection diseases like the flu. Uh, we want to uh, address uh, the impact or the effects of, uh, of the climate crisis on the demand for for health services because this will all have an influence on on um, this you know the second wave everybody is is expecting right now. And of course, it's very important uh, to to consider this kind of impact factors uh, uh, in this in this management tool uh, to uh, yeah to, to, to keep control. Um, yeah, and political countermeasures. Uh, I think we all agree that uh, there are huge differences uh, across the countries uh, in in you know in the uh, political activities uh, to to uh, to battle with the the, the virus. Uh, and this is what we want to add to the model as well. So uh, that's. It's another very great success uh, so far. And as I've mentioned uh, as well, is that what we are currently working on like hell uh, is, is, is the plus version uh, of, of our CARA COVID-19 service. And basically, I mean, it's, it's probably obvious that uh, because CARA COVID-19 is just focusing on, uh, you know, what is the additional effort? What is the additional resource demand for COVID-19 uh, specific patients? And if you want to uh, manage kind of um, uh, 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 manage a kind of of, of two stage uh, or two way um, um, process, then you then you have to to manage both patient streams, which means uh, COVID nineteen patients and regular patients. And in a nutshell, this is what we want to do. This bus version. Uh, which we want to monetize uh, as well, so people can or health institutions can do the same. Uh, so they can manage carry COVID-19 as they did before. Plus, they can manage their regular patients uh, in just one cockpit, and this is probably one of the most uh, relevant um, issues uh, in managing the crisis uh, uh, for for healthcare uh, providers uh, uh, across the, the world right now. Uh, and we hope we can we can supply uh, we can deploy this first version uh, in, in July. So we, we are we are very optimistic about that. And finally, uh, because uh, as I have said, currently we are we are uh, uh, growing. I would say we are growing like hell. Um, of course, we we need lots of of additional talent uh, to to keep on uh, growing. Uh, and beside the health and 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 tech uh, specific. Um, job uh, profiles or job offers you can find on our website. I want, just want to announce that we're looking for, you know, some more in, in the operations management field, in the human resource field, in the marketing and sales field, in the assistance field. So probably in any field that is relevant to really uh, get us on, on, on the next uh, level. Uh, and uh, yes, so if what I told you sounds interesting to you, uh, I'm looking forward uh, to, to, to your email to your message on LinkedIn or wherever. Thanks for your attention and I hope I'm still in time. Thank you.